of going to tons of like unpleasant, to say it nicely, gatherings with different people and having to work on the lovely issue of trying to raise money, helping to collect signatures and you know, going on this emotional roller coaster with me as well. And I just really want to thank John as well for being on that. signatures without Paul just like totally driving it home and forcing yeah. it. Another person that sat on my steering committee and who has followed me around uh, charging me huge amounts of money, that's a joke, uh, to take photographs of me and people for the last 20 years is Harvey Finkel. And this, this, this man is forever a legend. We already know that. I love him dearly. And, you know, the gift of seeing what this movement is all about will forever be seen in his fo photographs. Um, And then there's another steering committee member of mine, uh, which was Hugh. And um, Hugh was responsible for this mess to begin with. <laughs> uh, you know, because it was on, you know, a very sane or crazy day in my life that him and Hillary came into the office and gave me the crazy proposal that perhaps I should, after 200 some arrests, run for Philadelphia <laughs> sheriff. You know, I am thankful uh, for the, you know, for him serving on my steering committee as well. And and, and then there's Glenn. 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 Woo! Put your hands up. <laughs> and this is one of the hardest things that, you know, I'm sorry. Don't you ever confuse him with Sharif because he's not. Yeah. <laughs> I know. From a distance. No. Now, Glenn is a beautiful person on the inside and on the outside, 
And this man has yes, also no. worked around the clock. Uh, and but he's also done that while being in foreclosure. Oh. And he is a, a beautiful human being. And he has put his heart and soul into this process. And again, you know, there's no way that I can thank him. And uh, I have lots more to say on that note. So let's give Glenn a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and, and then I just want to say, because I don't want to get into trouble by pointing out other Green Party members in here. Um, but I just want to say, I know the Greens are scared that this is the last they've seen of me. But it's truly the beginning of what they <laughs> You know, and, and if I can learn how to hustle and raise some money like Belinda or, you know, ride a bike like Charles or, you know, I mean, I... I could go on and on, but what the most important thing is what the Green Party is about. And the Green Party, put your hand down, the Green Party is a party that represents the people. And we've got to build an independent party in this country, and in particular in Philadelphia. Both the Democrats and the Republicans don't represent the people of Philadelphia, and we got to make sure that we have politicians that represent the people. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. And to all of the other volunteers that worked all day, you had to give them a round of applause, too. <laughs> We didn't have to pay people a hundred dollars to work the polls. Yeah. Um, and I, I want to say, lastly, um, Guillermo, Ruby Shani. <laughs> okay. Um, you know.
school teachers and everybody that know about this campaign. Okay. Love you. Love you. Okay, you kids, would you like to say anything? Uh, do you have do you have numbers for you want to say anything? You want to say You're something? Modest. Go ahead. I'm modest. Oh, because I moved two times. What did you say? We had to move two times. They took your house two times. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Who? Oh, and yeah, there's a bunch of people that aren't here tonight. And I want to make sure that I thank them. John just raised somebody else that's very important. Um, you know, for Hillary uh, from the Green Party, uh, this probably was the most interesting financial campaign to be a part of. Uh, because it was a very different experience to be a part of a campaign and to sit on a steering committee and to be a treasurer of a campaign that had everybody that's working on the campaign that don't have a dollar ninety-five. Um, and so to work with a group of people that were working every single day and don't have uh, something as basic as uh, bus fare or transpass, many days uh, Nito, who's talking really loud, uh, would, you know, literally work, uh, walk from Junietta uh, to work on my campaign. Uh, and today, um, I, I had a call from a, a couple people, uh, one gentleman in particular that is very, very ill, that was thrown out of his home, and both him and his father... Uh, spent the entire day working the polls. So these are the beautiful human beings that I could go on and on. Uh, when I shook hands with a woman at the Armingo Diner today, uh, she had just lost her home to foreclosure and was also diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, so again, I just want to close this very long talk by saying thank you all very, very much. And, uh, you know, I'm probably going to rest for a couple days. This campaign desperately needs money. We, we need so much money. We have so much debt um, that we've got to raise that money. Uh, but in uh, the next couple weeks, something that doesn't stop is that some of these families, like Elthea, like Glenn, uh, like um, Ida, like I could go on and on and on, they're due to lose their homes any day. Um, and so it's going to require people to get organized and to occupy these homes in Philadelphia. Uh, if they didn't let me do it in the sheriff's office, we'll do it the sheriff way, the other sherry way. <laughs>